This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by Peggy Gittergal underscore LBS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. Enjoy. Chapter 6 Afogato hummed to himself as he went through Espresso's notes himself. He chuckled at the professor's work. Fascinating, he said. Alchemist struggled to break free from the rope that he had used to tie her with. I have a child! Please let me go! She shouted. Oh, why would I? He said. You aren't an ordinary child, are you? You're of use to me. Alchemist struggled more. Just then, a purple snake slithered up next to her. She yelped in fright. It hissed and bared its fangs at her. Afogato tapped his staff on the ground, and the snake slithered towards him and hid in his robes. He chuckled at the girl's frightened expression. He was enjoying her fear. No, then. Where were we? He said. Oh, yes. You were going to help me recreate Espresso's experiment with some modifications. Modifications? No! You can't tamper with potions and spells like that! It's too dangerous! Alchemist warned. Perfect. Now, I want you to finish that brew, but add this. I forgot to pull out a small vial of a clear liquid. The vial had a label on it. Do it and do not dilly-dally. Your freedom is on the line. He laughed. He opened a window and placed the purple snake on the windowsill. Get him! He said. The snake hissed and slithered off. After spending nearly three hours sparring with the others, Madeline rested upon the edge of a fountain. He gazed into the water. He hummed the tune of Once Upon a Dream to himself. Suddenly, another cookie's reflection appeared startling him. Oh! Sir Financier, my apologies, I didn't see you there, he said. Sir Madeline, she said. Are you still worried about Espresso? Very much so, he said. It doesn't help that he's disrespecting the magic that... The divine gave us paladins. Perhaps a walk through the gardens would help clear your mind, Financier suggested. Madeline nodded. Of course, he said. He stood up and began to walk with her. As the two walked, they began to chat. Financier smiled as she walked with him. She enjoyed listening to him go on and on about his many adventures. She looked up to him as an inspiration. As the two walked through the gardens, they felt safe and secure. They were so focused on the beauty of the gardens that they didn't notice the purple snake in their path. Madeline suddenly screamed in pain as the snake struck his knee. 